Morning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Oh, what a beautiful sight. A winter wonderland at Winter Haven. Man, what nice weather for it, too. You know, it's just chilly enough in the evenings to go out there with a hat and scarf and gloves. And uh, you're not absolutely freezing, you're not teeth chattering cold <laughs> when you're out there. Really gorgeous weather for it if you check that out again this evening. So from those of us, the Kega 9 on your side weather team, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. By the way, Tucson has recorded four white Christmases, in case you're wondering, and the last one was in the 80s. So did Santa leave you one of these, a telescope underneath your Christmas tree? If so, stay tuned. I've got something that you'll want to test it out on this evening and tomorrow morning. Mostly clear skies now, 60 degrees at Tucson's airport, 50 degrees in Safford and Oracle, 49 Wilcox, 48 Sierra Vista. That 69 degrees that we recorded at the airport today does put us above our average. Not by much, though. We're typically at about 64. The record, though, staying safe in our books at 82 degrees, set back in 19. 33. Our high temps across most of southern Arizona. Yes, that 69 here in Tucson, but 58 for Wilcox, 59 Sierra Vista, 67 Nogales, and 68 Casa Grande. So here's what we have going on this evening. We've got the moon and Mars in a beautiful conjunction, and our skies hopefully continue to stay clear for this. I do believe that they will. Maybe a few high level clouds to fight, but I wouldn't let that uh, deter you from trying to check that out this evening. By the way, we'll talk more about that forecast for tomorrow and the wind that will be returning in just a second. Here's how you can spot that uh, holiday conjunction, though. You'll want to look to the east. Now, this is technically early tomorrow morning, depends on how you you look at it, I know midnight, right? So kind of overnight slash early morning. Right after midnight, you want to look to the east, and it's pretty low on the horizon. You'll see that moon, and just above it, Mars. And then you will find the other star just to the west of it, or just to the left of it, I guess, depending upon how you're looking at it, Parima. Now, a little bit later, closer to dawn, so we're talking 6.30 to 7.30 time frame. Obviously, this will be higher in the sky, so you won't want to look right along that horizon. But as long as you find the moon, you'll be able to find Mars very bright. Uh, just above it. And then Spica, you will find, which I believe is about the 15th brightest star in the night sky, and also the brightest star in the Virgo constellation. So, Virgos, you might be able to spot that one pretty quickly. Our lows overnight, upper 20s for Wilcox, 32, Sierra Vista, 37, Oral Valley, but tomorrow, 64 in Tucson, 66, Marana, 64, Nogales, and 50s for most of Cochise County, like Benson at 57. All right, so we will have the sun returning tomorrow. Temps will be back into the 60s, no doubt, but the wind is also picking up from the east 10 to 15 miles per hour. The west is going to stay fairly quiet here all the way through the weekend and through the rest of the year, quite frankly, and looking good as we head into the new year. You'll be ringing in 2014 with temps in the low 70s. Well, Okay, not at midnight. Those are <laughs> afternoon highs, but beautiful weather for that holiday. Still nice in the 40s, you know. Overnight, looking pretty mild, yes. I can't believe it's going to be 2014. 2014, baby. Oh, my goodness. I'm right. going to mess up my checks for at least yeah. a month. <laughs> it always happens. <laughs> hey, if you guys wanted to know uh, how Guy actually spent this Christmas, well, there it is. Take a look at this beautiful picture. This is in Prescott. This is right near the courthouse, right, Aaron? Yes. Right near the courthouse there. So look at that display, just a beautiful Christmas display. And, of course, you can find more of Guy Ashley's pictures on our website, kega9.com. Well, it may be NFL on Thanksgiving, but it's NBA on Christmas Day. Highlights of the two-time defending champion Miami 